What's happening my friends? I'm Mark Thomas, a home builder. Welcome to my Home Outdoors channel. Today I want to talk to you about the AccuBrush XT. This is a high-end paint edger. It runs approximately $100 and it has a new way of painting the edge right here. It has a roller and it has a little micro brush right here. We're going to give you, I'm going to give you a close demonstration showing you how this works and seeing if this is a game changer. If you want to check it out, stay tuned. My friends, I have four different ways that in the past I've used for edging trim, like when you go to paint your house. Number one right here, this came recommended to me from my father-in-law. He said he's had pretty good luck with it over the years. This is a super trim guide. It's 24 inches. It has a stainless steel edge. And you can put this right up against your trim and you can use a, a good paint brush and just rub the paint close to it. Now the only thing I found, no matter how close and how hard I hold that up against the edge, the paint sometimes just seems to bleed in behind that. And that is not very effective because then you got to go in with a towel or a rag and wipe your trim down again and that's not fun, you're wasting time. So this right here, I don't know, out of 10, I'd probably give it about a six. Okay, my number two item, this is a Sureline trim edger. It has a couple wheels on it and this pad. This isn't brand new, I've had this for a while so you can see the stained paint. And this works pretty good. I've talked to a few people and they say, you know, you put this, you get this in some paint and then you rub it right along the edge and these two wheel guides keep the the paint pad shimmed off of your trim but the one thing that I've come across is the paint just somehow gets mixed up into those wheels and even though this is pretty cheap it's like I don't know four bucks and you can probably like buy like a handful of them and throw them out because sometimes it's hard to clean those wheels when it gets inside that wheel well it works pretty good but it's limited to so I don't know out of 10 I found it um, I don't know probably probably about a seven the third this is a common method right here using painters tape and this is the frog tape brand this is probably the more the most expensive of all the frog of all the tape where this holds a really good edge and it's probably worth that little extra money but what I found when you're painting and you're using tape and you're putting this on the edge it takes takes some skill to get that perfect in there. So this uh, sometimes you know you just cannot quite get it right in that inside corner like you want. So for me, I don't have the gift of being able to and the patience to be able to lay that in perfectly right along the edge. It so for me, this is probably about a six using painters tape fourth method is using a good trimming brush right here. See how the, these are two different ones I have. They're both angled. They are both two inches. This is a Wooster brand. This is a Linzer. So one handle is a little bit thicker. One's a little skinnier. And I've had, quite honestly, the best luck. And I've talked to some professional painters. I mean, I'm, I am a home builder. And I've been on a lot of job sites. And I've talked to the different subcontractors that come on to my, my jobs. And I just remember a conversation with a professional painter. He said, you know, this right here, you, it's kind of like the old school tried and true way. He's had the best luck. You just can start it right along the edge and just pull a nice edge and just watch it come real close to the inside corner like he wants. You can also push it this way too. And I've had pretty good luck with this, even though, like so many people, I don't have like that gifted hand where I can just run a nice steady vertical line or a horizontal line or like a cathedral ceiling where you can just pull that brush at a nice steady angle. I'm pretty good at it. But it does take, I think, a, like a gifted, it's like an artistic ability to be able to just pull that down and not like get off track. So for this, I'd probably say for me, it's probably about an eight out of 10. And now the moment you've been waiting for, this is the AccuBrush XT. Mount it on a broom handle or a pole, painter's pole. And I'm gonna show 
how this works. This is going to be basically just a first impression with it. I'm going to do three sides of this window, the right side, the bottom, and the left. And I'll see how this works and you'll just kind of see my thoughts on that. On that. And in about two to three weeks I'm going to do a bigger painting project that I'll give this a more in-depth review. So stay tuned for that. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. So um, in that review I'll show you how you use the recommended products right here, a five gallon bucket with that screen in there for rolling the paint. Let's get started. Just want to make sure this roller gets full of paint, nice and thick, soft up really good. All right, that's probably good. Let's just see how this works. I know the wall isn't perfectly flat. I put a straight edge to it as it goes. It kind of dips in, dips in there and then rises up as it gets closer to the trim. Hopefully that doesn't matter. That should be should be weird things that go on when you're trimming, cutting in. So hopefully this is universal to all different situations. Alright, looks like I need a little more paint on it. take a close look. That's as high up as you can go to the ceiling so it's about three inches. It's going to require a brush to do that. That's one of the limitations with this edger. You can't go right to the inside corner. I know these blinds are hideous. Time for an upgrade. As you can see the brush leaves just a tiny gap. Maybe, maybe an eighth of an inch or so. There is a micro adjustment that I can make on that to have that brush go out a little further. So it's really pretty close. It's enough where you could pretty much get away with it, but to be a little more perfect, I could have that little micro brush stick out a little further. Let me see, let me get right to the corner. So yeah, there you go. I'm pretty happy with the way that's worked so far. Pretty awesome. All right, doing the bottom part here. Oops. Keep on track. Go back and forth. Oops, cobwebs. This is my basement after all, so it doesn't get cleaned as much as the rest of the house. All right, that looks pretty good. It may need two coats, but um, so far this paint's going on really nice, and it's going right to the edge. Let's try the left side. Just go back and forth on this a couple times. Oh, probably pressing too hard. I can see that wheel making a little indentation. Okay, that's right. I recall in the instructional part of this, your last stroke should be an upstroke, so that way the wheel right there isn't the last thing. It's the roller, the last thing that goes. So that's. Um, what I need to do here, boom, all right, that looks good. I did probably about, oh, I don't know, 14 feet in just a matter of like a couple minutes. All right, so the price is definitely higher than the other items that I pointed out, but I'm thinking this is going to be something that's going to be a game changer for those big projects, the big rooms you're going to tackle. This is very nice. I'm really happy with it so far. So like I said, stay tuned, like two or three weeks, I have an office, a pretty good sized one I'm going to paint, and I'll do all kinds of different trimming and cutting in with this. So you'll see how it works like on baseboard or up against the ceiling, around windows, things like that. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. If you own one, I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. Thanks for watching my friends. Have a great day. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is a important part. You don't want to have that thick line right there, so like you go around the rest of your house, that that harsh line where you have like some thicker paint and no paint. You do want to take a minute after you're done painting this and kind of feather it out. 